What's up, y'all? It's Tasha, and I'm back with another video. If you are new to the channel, please check out the rest of our videos. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Um, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm doing a solo today. I'm doing a seafood boil. I don't have any crab, but I do have this Bahamian lobster that I love, so I'm about to do this. Um, I don't have a whole lot of sauce, but it's okay, because I got stuff on top. And I don't think I'm gonna talk much, y'all. I'm just about to eat, because I'm hungry. And like every mukbanger says, I haven't eaten all day. Mm. Yeah, I got trash bag right here. Mm. I cut my finger like I always used to, y'all. So I gotta go alone. I feel like this is the best seafood boil I've had in a long time. Come on now. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. Mmm. 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 I don't think he's gonna do it again. Now look. I know y'all have a lot of questions. You know, I'm not even gonna start with that. Mm. Muscle. Mm. Um. I got this lobster from Costco. Yeah, Costco. And I'm not sure if that's where I got it before, but I'm about to try it and let you guys know how it is. Mm. I didn't even do a thumbnail. Oh my God. We're gonna do whatever we do. When I went to the store, Ross, there was only four pieces of corn left. Yeah, really thin. Y'all, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking about um I'm thinking about going to Houston in December. Probably will. So if you are in Houston and you want to do a collab, let me know. Cause I'm down. Mm. Mm. I don't know when in December, I think mid, if not December, January. I've never been to Houston, so I love some recommendations. Um, I know a few people out there already. So I might be hitting one of them up at least. Ashley, cuz OAB. Definitely gonna see her. Definitely collabing. Mm. Yeah, I'm hungry. Maybe I should slow down. I can't eat that much. So, um,
Oh my. Y'all gotta do this. The cucumber with the, just all of it. Mm. Look, I don't have a spoon, so I'm done. And I have a glove because I cut my finger, so this is perfect. Here, I need to give y'all some. Look at that. Go and bite it. I know you want it. I know you want it. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Okay. I was so scared. Because this is thick. Mmm. Mmm. Wait a minute. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. I was scared because this lobster is thick. And I don't usually cook it. But. It is cooked great. It is cooked perfectly, okay? Perfectly. Y'all want a muscle? Mmm. Ah. Uh-oh. Mmm. This is great. I got a snack video I'm gonna try to do today too. I don't know if that's gonna happen though. Cause. Mm. Oh. Yeah, um, I know some of you have questions, okay? Some of you have no idea, and some of you have questions. They will be addressed, okay? Just not right now. Y'all gotta understand that people, humans do things on their own time, and me and Stephanie are human, right? Mm. Hold on. That was too much butter for me to eat without a bite of shrimp. Mm. So, mm. this shrimp was a little tough. This one, a little tough. Mm. Mm. Things will be addressed in due time and you know y'all gotta let people <laughs> be human that's all i'm saying none of us are um i mean we don't even really know what to do we was just dropped off here right as humans by our parents we were just brought here and then told to figure it out Figure out life, figure out God, figure out spirituality, figure out how you're going to live, figure out, even with working, excuse me, I don't think anybody prefers to have eight hours out of their day taken for work, which really sometimes translates to 10 hours because of traffic, and then come home and try to feed their kids and, and put them to bed within two or three hours. And so you only spent actually two or three hours with your kid, but you spent all day at, with coworkers. Mm. I mean, coworkers are cool. They become friends, but still, I mean, I kind of rather be around my children, my family, 10 hours a day versus coworkers, 10 hour or eight hours a day, and then spend three hours a day with my kids. That's the way the workforce is, is kind of strange. It's like a slavery modern day for everybody just to live, to be, to be able to live um, comfortably
Mm. I think we should work off of a barter system. And if you don't know what that means, let's say uh, someone who owns apartment buildings, instead of you paying rent, you fix all the cabling or you do all the maintenance. But I mean, I feel like that should happen with everything. Not everything. I mean, when you want luxury items, which Mm. Hold on. Bye. I don't want to talk no more. I mean. Mm. Anyway, next subject, because that's what I do. Tell me. Besides Houston, I think I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to Houston. I think before the year is up, possibly. Should go next week. But Thanksgiving is here and Christmas and all that, so. And then um I wanna go somewhere else. Y'all tell me where I should go. Where should I go? Who wants to collab? Mm. Whoever wants to collab, that's where I'm going. I'm trying to do some videos and travel at the same time, you know? So let me know. Mm -hmm. Stephanie probably won't be coming. I mean, Stephanie won't be coming with me. She'll be doing it. She's doing her own thing. So it's going to be a collab with Tasha. Mm. Oh, I had a topic. Let me tell you about a topic. So, this topic is from a 16 year old boy. I don't know if it's a boy. 16 year old. I want you guys to give this person advice too. I'm not big on giving teenagers advice. But, um,. I don't like to give them advice because I don't want to tell somebody's kid anything. But sometimes I feel like it's necessary or I can. So in this case, it's a 16 year old. This person is saying that their mom is kind of stressing them out, yelling at them, cussing them out, um, telling them they're disrespectful. No, this person didn't tell me what they say. For the mom to call him disrespectful. But that she doesn't ask how you doing in school, you know, this or that. She kind of just, and she said, and the person said that when their mom was in school, she was like, hey, how was your day? So the person doesn't, the mom doesn't ask the kid how their day was and, and all that. So it sounds like the child feels neglected. Um, which is probably something that's very common in today and even yesterday. Yesterday meaning 10 years ago or a decade ago. A lot of times when you have to work so much, you do neglect your family. You do neglect your kids because you have this idea or this dream or you got to pay your rent, you know? So it's like, I'm sorry, it's either I'm going to love you or I'm gonna take care, I'm gonna make sure you okay. And unfortunately as humans, we need both. We need financial security, but we also need um, physical, emotional, mental security, right? So life lives, right? Unfortunately, we have to be able to provide all of that to um, our family members. And it's hard when you are 
They're just trying to make it, you know? It seems like work and money takes over everything. It's like, well, I want to make sure, you know, everything is going good. So let me do this. Let me spend eight hours, nine hours a day at work to make sure I can buy my son these Jordans he wants. But when I get home, I'm not sitting down talking to him about his day and asking him about his girlfriend or asking him about, you know, anybody hurt him today or anything. You know, it's like, oh, time to go to bed or, OK, take a bath. Here's dinner. You know, it's a routine. I don't want to eat no more. Mm. -mm. <clears throat> mm. That's good, y'all. Mm. Um. Yeah, I think I might cut this short because honestly, I'm full and I don't want to keep eating. Mm. I've been eating a lot less. Um, I'm sure you guys noticed because I feel like I look a little different. Mm. I think when you lose weight fast, when you lose weight rapidly, it, it changes something. Like my neck look little as hell. And so my head look bigger. I like a fucking bobblehead. head. Ain't this a bitch? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm not eating no more though, y'all. I feel like my blood pressure went up 75 points. <laughs> And I'm not doing no more. I'm finished. Uh, this is going to be a short video, I think, but there are more to come. Don't worry. And I will talk and address what some of you want to talk about in the next couple of weeks. Okay. I just am not ready. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I know I didn't eat it. Y'all probably like, bitch, you mean me eat nothing. I did, though. I ate a lot. Until next time, only good vibes. Peace.